This video shows how you may debug your application in an ASP.NET Core uh, application. So uh, I was hanging here uh, a day around and couldn't debug my application uh, and asked myself how is debugging done in ASP.NET Core. So it's quite simple. You have simply to, uh, when you work on a local database, when you work local on your local machine, then you, and you are in Visual Studio, then you may uh, set a breakpoint. Here and now in my startup, either there when the machine starts, so I may look up all those values here in configure services, configure and then do something else. This is what, what happens at the beginning. But uh, yeah, anyway, I may do this now. For example, when go there, make a breakpoint. And furthermore, when you are here in the application and uh, do a debugging, you in this case, I made an API controller, ASP API uh, stuff. And then you always have here the database model and you have the controllers and the controllers are the stuff which uh, is working. And now you may set a breakpoint in there. And this is always, you have the, the controller this is the initialization and there's the it it takes the database context in there it connects to the database and then we have something like nodes give me all nodes give me one node and also so you are able to set a breakpoint in there so you see and uh, now you go to the swagger on the same stuff when you start your application when you go there you do nothing you don't have to do anything. You simply go there here, check the properties in the beginning and go to the debug folder. And inside the debugger you have launch browser is, uh, this is the front slash swagger is the beginning. Or you may say front slash, this is simply our my debugging, my development uh, settings. And when I go there, I will say here, this is the HTTP default, if you start with HTTP for in default end, but normally you have to, uh, you should select uh, SSL, even if you uh, take the uh, entity uh, encryption from Google and it should, or you should always take a SSL uh, or HTTPS format. And now, you see nothing else is there. You don't have to enable native code debugging, no enable SQL Server debugging. Take this out and now we start there. We have two positions. We may start in IIS uh, local. So we get here an icon where the local uh, IIS Express is running. And that's, that's good. Now I'm starting this one and you will see there's now a small machine coming up here somewhere. And you see the breakpoint goes straight straight in there. And so this is when the application starts on my machine. So I'm able to debug that stuff on my machine. Now I say continue and I don't have to set any, I don't have to connect here in the debug, the attach a process or something like this. This is not necessary on a local machine. And uh, where did we start here? Then it starts with a swagger, as we said, swagger, front slash swagger, and this jumps to swagger index. And now we go to uh, to the nodes. And I said, okay, here are my, if I take nodes in here, and here's my website, my front end. Now when I push the refresh button here on my, on my front end, Go here to my get API front slash nodes and say try it out. So it tries uh, this small stuff. And as soon as soon as I as the command is here set, it jumps in there and it creates the uh, a task action result innumerable innumerables. I don't know how the word in in English is and. Now I may take this one, let's say, um, drop this to our um, add as a result into one in watch. 
and then you have the result in there you may go by a, a between step and say uh, make a here as a result is this list and development state you will see what is in there and you ha have normally the result somewhere in here I can't show it at the moment result result value now oh, here here we have we have here result view is two values and these uh, results and these results are in there so we see now the result result which is comes as a list an asynchronous list and this will be after the await after uh, when async as soon as result is there it will be returned and then with f10 we go out further next step and now uh, it creates the class it binds it to the glass and we go out continue and now we get the result here on our browser it automatically automatically jumps uh, to the front and now we see this is the JSON result because it connects here to the JSON format and throws it out as this one and one important um, thing is on there because I was rehanging uh, today a lot of time here around when you create something and there's going something wrong with the API if the AP, uh, with the DB context and you start it because the server is offline because the server uh, you have a wrong development uh, connection string and now when you try to get this one and try it out then you will get a big error so there's a big 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 stuff around there You will see there comes a big error and you don't know what's happening and here and more you have to watch this text invalid operations exception unable to resolve service now listen of type models api db context and you can set you, you're not able to set here a, a breakpoint that's what i wanted to say you see when we have here the get node or get nodes this one and we refresh it we try to go jump in there the, the position there will never be reached that's what it says it's you will never come to that point of debugging and that's why debugging doesn't work in this position you have to watch the list in there and which says okay uh, it, it can't it can't create a service uh, maybe it's possible when I'm not sure now uh, if, if we take a point on here um, now let's try but uh, now even then we are not reaching this position so uh, I'm not sure how we can get to this uh, connection string because it's not there. yeah it's not there in my case it's not there because we have not these two lines in there we are never we it never connects to this position and now as soon as I make here a uh, injection available so this is all what it does it's, it gets the injection and when we come now to this position we have now the this try it out get the uh, the position again and now it jumps to this cons uh, uh, to the base to the return value of the modules and you see it gives us back a database connection and then we go on and as you see it jumps now into our controller and we always have the uh, position in there and we always have the values of the return values this list what we have so you see it's quite simple you don't have to go to the uh, connect um, connect attached to process this is not necessary in this case in most cases you have it uh, when you're in dev development mode you are on a local system and you may test it in local uh, local stuff